what's going on guys it's legend today i'm going to be showing you guys my settings i had a comment the other day asking for a sensitivity run through and so i thought i'd just go through all of my settings for you guys um so let's see what i got um so i, I play on bumper jumper um the reason why it says custom because the only the only bind that i have different than like the normal bind is just uh, to drop the weapon I use right on the d-pad. So that's the only reason why it says um, Custom other than that everything is the normal bumper jumper layout um, And then let me start from the top so These are my settings for this and to be honest with you There's gonna be some settings that I don't exactly know why I have it's kind of just what works for me Which is a lot of these settings at the end of the day. It's kind of personal preference and what you feel comfortable with but um yeah so i have hold to crouch um i feel like strafing mid gunfight it's just so much easier versus having to like click in my stick over and over again um and it allows me to crouch faster so i feel like that is kind of the better way to go in terms of that setting uh, maintain sprint when i jump on objects um ledges and when i come on top of the ledge um my sprint that i had before continues versus me having to press sprint again so I like that setting, auto clamber. Um, I just like auto clambering and not having to, I guess, press the button again or whatever. Um, step jump, that's just what I feel comfortable with. Um, Legacy, I guess this is a newer setting that they added not too long ago in uh, Halo Infinite. Um, Infinite was the default setting. And I guess with Infinite, when you get shot at or when you, yeah, when you, I think when you get shot at, and you zoom back in you return to the last zoom setting that you had before you got unscoped so if you were like zoomed in twice like double if you were double zoomed then you will when aiming in you will continue to be double zoomed but i prefer legacy because i would like mine to be reset to the first um i guess the first zoom that's just what i feel comfortable with like when sniping and all that and so down to my sensitivities um so i have my look acceleration on two six and then 6.5 so the reason why i have the vertical higher than the horizontal is because i feel like to finish off those kills um it's kind of easier doing it when it's kind of like a faster vertical sense for me at least i don't know if you guys know or not but um headshot damage does not do more damage than body shot damage the only importance of headshots is to finish the kill so usually you want to shoot go for the body and only use a headshot for the last like final kill once their shield is um down and so that's kind of what i've been comfortable with if i were to change any of these settings like sometimes in the near sometime in the near future it would probably be the sense setting if any um because i just i just had it 6.57 so i just kind of went half a sense down um i might even go lower than that um but yeah like i said this is kind of just what i feel comfortable with if i were to play with the lower horizontal and vertical i'd probably go higher acceleration but since my sense is a little bit high already i just go with two and that's what i feel comfortable with as of right now like I said, it could be changed soon. I'm not sure. But anyways, um, the zoom is default. My dead zones, they're all as lowest as can be because I guess it's just the most responsive. Um, and then for these ones, to be honest with you, I feel like I, I feel like no one like really knows exactly what these do, I feel like. But... Um, I do know that the center dead zone is just like a regular controller dead zone. I think is same as axial. axial. Um, I'm not exactly sure on that, but I just know once I put these um, dead zones for both the move, move and the look, I felt like my aim and everything was just so much more responsive. Um, and I didn't feel like stuck or like my aim was very stiff. So that's kind of what I, what I went with. Um, and then again, just my bumper jumper settings, nothing changed besides the drop weapon, uh, which is right on the D-pad. That's the only thing that I changed. Um, I think that's kind of that. Okay. And then I don't play keyboard and mouse, but, um, 
my video so i play 105 fov um again it's just personal preference um i think i've played anywhere from like 95 to 105 i think somewhere around there 105 i feel like is a perfect balance of not being too zoomed out to where it's kind of difficult to see enemies but also not too zoomed in to where you can't see as much as i feel like you should in your peripheral vision so that's kind of what i've uh went with is 105 and then nothing really crazy here 100 percent 1920 by 1080 minimum and maximum is 120 180 the reason why i don't have it on 240 is because i feel like it was kind of it was making my gpu kind of overwork even on the menu i feel like as far as i have found there's no like menu frame rate setting to where you can cap the the frames on just the menu and i feel like when i was at 240 i don't need 240 frames on my menu and it was kind of just like working my gpu for no reason so i kind of lowered it down to 180 so my gpu is not having to work as hard and i feel like 180 is not bad at all anyways and so yeah v-sync turn v-sync off is just um delay it just adds delay basically limit inactive frame rate uh whatever this is so all my graphic settings is low 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 off on all this stuff um i don't really mess with these and then i have all these zero i don't want any screen effects and then sharpening i have it at 60 default nothing too crazy there my audio in case you guys want my audio settings i don't really mess with these too often and I have toggle to talk because I have a foot pedal so I could just press it on and off and I also have like a, a go XLR mix amp so I could like mess with my audio on that as well so yeah let's go to gameplay um, these are my settings again I don't really mess with these settings exactly um, I have the FPS on and then the the, F, the network statistics on and then for my colors, I went with green for my teammates and then yellow for the enemies. Um, I feel like I just like these colors and the way they look, but also for me, having a yellow highlight for enemies allows me to see them much easier and much faster. So I feel like it just helps me in game um, to have the enemies as yellow. Um, and then that's kind of really it on this part. Yeah, I don't really mess with any of these too much. Okay, so the offsets. So for my offsets, I have negative 100, negative 100, and 100. And I feel like this allows me to see a good amount of the map. Um, let's see if I can go into an academy. Um, let's see. BR, endless. So with those offsets, um, it basically, it honestly basically just makes the gun smaller. So it doesn't really take up as much as the screen. And like I said, it allows me to see more of the screen than I would if I didn't have those offsets. So that's just kind of what I set from like the very beginning of me playing this game. And I haven't went back. So if you look right there, that's kind of the offsets that I have currently. And then if I go gameplay and I go down, if I were to, so negative, negative one. So if I did, let me use a mouse and key because this is gonna take forever. Let's change those back down. down. Bam, okay, so with those, the gun takes up so much more of the screen and I wouldn't be able to see as much on the right side of my screen. Having the offsets that I do allows me to see more of the screen um, and just be able to scan the map better, um, have more visibility basically. So that's why I have those offsets. Let's go ahead and take those back. Boop. I'm gonna go show you guys again. See, so much different than having it on default. And then let's go back my other offsets and that's basically the same premise for all the weapons that i have different than default so heavy again same thing um allows me to see more of my my surroundings um 
Why do I keep doing that? Uh, and go all the way down again. Okay, so pistol, same thing. I think I have it same for all of them, right? Yeah, I have it same for everything, except for the melee, which the melee to me doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, those are my offsets. And then nothing really important here. If you guys want to copy these settings i guess you can but again nothing really important but yeah those are my settings um again it comes down to personal preference but if you kind of feel like you're either starting new or you just want to really i guess refresh your settings you can go ahead and copy these settings if you want and just kind of tweak them to how you want it um but yeah that's gonna be it for me um thank you guys so much for all the support on the recent videos as well um i appreciate you guys so much um following this part of the video is going to be a gameplay of me hitting onyx um in season four so yeah i would appreciate you guys liking and subscribing if you guys do enjoy the rest of the video um and let me know if you guys like these type of videos where i kind of just talk through settings and stuff like that but yeah thank you guys so much for watching um enjoy the rest of the video That's a good win. Three down. This is the only guy left. Flag return. Enemy flag return.
Jesus, how many fucking snipers they are? Die haben es gleich schon an. Headshots in your future.
Let's go. Onyx, let's get it. <laughs>